Hey guys, it's Anthony Bandiero here, attorney and senior legal instructor for Blue to Gold Law Enforcement Training, bringing you another roadside chat from the studio. All right, what's our question today? The question today is from an officer in Utah. Are passengers free to leave a traffic stop? The answer is no, not under uh, Supreme Court precedent and not under the vast majority of states. Um, some states say they can, specifically Washington and uh, Oregon uh, have some funky rules about passengers and so forth. You have to have a reason to, to continue to detain them, uh, just not merely being present in the car. But the U.S. Supreme Court has made it pretty clear on their case called Arizona versus Johnson, uh, Maryland versus Wilson. Um, and uh, there's, an, there's another one that escapes me at this particular time. It starts with a B. It's, it's like Brenlin. I think it's Brenlin is, is the one that's um, that that is the other one. And all three of those cases have made it very clear that passengers are seized under the Fourth Amendment. And therefore, no reasonable passenger would feel free to leave unless the officer gave them permission. And if the officer doesn't give them permission, then they are not free to leave. There's also a um, case law out there talking about how Traffic stops involving multiple passengers are more dangerous. Um, that's I think that's that's part of uh, Maryland versus Wilson are more dangerous. Uh, therefore, it's another compelling re reason to con um, to to maintain control over the the traffic stop. But I like how the Supreme Court says they are seized, not detained, because it's one thing to keep passengers on scene. It's another thing to demand ID or, you know, accuse them of criminal conduct, whatever, or treat them like they're, you know, like they're suspects, because merely being in the car is not in and of itself, of course, you know, reasonable suspicion, unless you have something more like uh, smoking while driving, you know, uh, smoking marijuana while driving and so forth. Um, open containers in the vehicle, you know, uh, they're not wearing their seatbelt, you're going to need something more. Um so you cannot demand ID from them, right? Remember that you can only demand ID from somebody that is involved in a criminal investigation. And basically these, these passengers that are just merely there for the ride are considered blameless. They're a blameless, it's a blameless seizure. They just happen to be with the, the wrong guy at the wrong time. The guy has no insurance or registration or he likes the speed, um, but they're blameless, all right? So. But use good judgment. You know, the other question that comes up is, okay, Anthony, they're not free to leave. I get it. So how much force can I use to keep them there? And all I can say is, you know, there's not a lot of cases on it. It would seem to me that it falls under kind of like Terry type rules where you can use reasonable force in order to, you know, maintain uh, control of the scene. Uh, of course, not deadly force, but use good judgment. I mean, personally, um, you know, I'm going to have a reason for keeping people on scene. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go to court after using force on a passenger to keep them there and say, you know what, your honor, the reason I use force is because Anthony said I could, or that's just the law as it is. You know, um, I do it as a matter of routine. I'm going to have a reason. Look, your honor, traffic stops are dangerous. If I let them get out of the car, they could go and ambush me. Uh, Your Honor, I don't even know what's even going on at this point. So having them leave the car, they could take weapon, you know, they could take drugs with them. Um, you know, if I go up to the car and I find out there's criminal activity going on and I and I believe that there's there were narcotics in the car, well, guess what? If I let the passenger go before my search, the passenger is likely going to take the contraband with him or her. Something like that. Um, that's what I want to, that's what I want to uh, hear cops saying. All right. All right. Look, do you like me doing these videos? You want me to keep doing them? Then three favors, my friends. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. This shows me and YouTube that you like what I'm doing. And finally, email this out to other people in your department. Email my channel, right? Uh, YouTube.com forward slash blue, uh, blue to gold. I have tons of videos on there. I'm doing more every week. Let people know. That shows. That tells me that I'm not wasting my time. OK, because I assure you, I got a lot of stuff on my plate and I and I take my family time away from my family to do these. And um, it's not fair to them if these are not valuable to you. All right. All right. And with that said, my friends, until next time.
Stay safe. When it comes to legal training, we're the gold standard. Visit bluetogold.com or call 888-579-7796 today to purchase the Search and Seizure Survival Guide, register for a class, or learn how to bring our search and seizure training to your agency.